Hello everyone, welcome again to another Jira Cloud tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to use labels in Jira. We will understand how to add the labels to Jira issues, how to remove the labels, and then how to search the issues in Jira with the labels. All right. So before we get into the details of the addition or removal of the label and then searching the issues where you have added the labels. First, let's understand how exactly or what exactly is label in Jira. So labeling in Jira can be um, understood similar to like tagging any issue. So you can add certain labels to the issue. So for example, you are working on an uh, uh, an epic which is basically a registration which has many uh, user stories in within it and there are many other issue type within it as well so what you can do is you can add the label say for example registration to all the issues that belong to that particular category so it is more of an informal way to categorize the issues in jira and it is really really helpful to uh, when when you want to filter out the issues within the jira project that are specific to a particular functionality or or to a particular you know uh, any any other component and all so component becomes more of a formal uh, sort of uh, addition in jira but when you talk about label you can label the the test cases based on a regression or functional etc so that's all possible within jira now let's understand how you can add the label so in Jira, there are many default issue types. So, for example, story, epic, subtask, bug. So, all these issue type you can add label, and even the custom issue type that you can, that you will create in your Jira project, you can add labels to that. Now, say for example, I'll go to the backlog in this particular project, and let me uh, open some of the issues here. Let me go to all issues. Now say for example, uh, this is the user story for which I want to add label. So if I go to the details of the user story, if you scroll down, you will see the option here, six more fields, and you will see the option labels available there, right? So to add a label, it's pretty simple. Sim simply you have to provide the label. So for example, this user story is uh, categorized into the registration uh, bucket. So uh, what I can do is I can simply add a label registration, right? And if that particular label it doesn't exist, then it will give you the recommendation that you can add a new label. So I'll click on registration and the new label will get added. Now, if I want to add any other label to this particular story as well, I can add one more label here as well. Say, for example, uh, this also belongs to the UI part of the implementation. So I can add a UI to this particular user story as well. So now two labels have been added to this particular story. Now, if, for example, this is the task for which, which also relates to the registration. So I can go to this particular task. And as soon as I'll click on the labels, I'll see the labels that are available that we have already created so simply i can choose registration if i if this particular task belongs to the registration and then that label will get added all right for this particular task as well now say for example this is the defect related to the registration then i can add the same label registration for the defect and how this labeling will help us uh, i'll explain in a little bit let me add one more uh, story to this particular label and say for example here I'll mention as database okay so another label got added so registration and database all right so this is how we'll add the labels to any issues in Jira and this is basically possible at the epic level as well so we have done you know task the defect user story I can also uh, add labels to the epic so for example this is the epic uh, rt17 and i can add the label here as well okay so i can say this is this epic belongs to the 
registration functionality. So once these labels are added, removing the label is simply selecting it and clicking on the cross button here, cross icon. So if you click on cross, the label will get removed. Simply remove it and click uh, somewhere else and the label will be gone. So let me add it again. And now once we have added the labels in our issues, let's go to the um, search option or filters and then see how easy it becomes to basically um, search for the issues when we add the labels okay so in the filters what i have done is i have went to the advanced issue search so it will open the basic search this is the basic search at the moment so now say for example i want to search the issues uh, if you if you want to assign if you want to get more options of the search so i can say uh, label just start searching for the criteria that you are looking for in the basic search so i'll say label and then it will list all the labels from which or which i want to select and search the issue so for example i want to search all the issues in the registration functionality if i click on it and then it will give me the list of all issues that are having that particular label right so labeling of the issues in jira helps us in the overall categorization or informal uh, way of having the group of issues that are related together okay so for example this is the portal registration epic which has multiple user stories within it i can label the epic as well as user stories with that particular label any defect that gets raised within that particular epic i'll use same label so that uh, once i search for the issues with that particular label i get to know how many epics were there in this particular feature how many stories were there within that particular epic how many defects were uh, raised uh, and then any other issue type that were being worked out in that particular feature so this is the basic advantage of having the labels now uh, the components are more formal way so you have to basically you know create the components and then assign the components to the issues uh, within within jira as well so that's another uh, possibility of categorization and there are other you know releases and versions that you can manage as well but this is the uh, very flexible and easy way to add the labels so that you can basically search the issues the other advantage of adding the labels is basically you can there are many gadgets available in the jira dashboard that you can use and those label gadgets will help you to uh, you know analyze the issues so for example you want to see the issue statistics or heat map etc so those gadgets are specific to the labels and once you have the labels assigned to the issues within your jira project you can use those gadgets to see the overall picture or overall status based on the labels within your jira project right so what we have learned we have learned how you can add the labels how you can remove the labels and the advantages and basically how to search the issues with the labels in jira so here i have just chosen single label if i want to choose multiple labels as well it will filter out the issues that are uh, that have any of those labels all right so that's all for this tutorial how to add labels in jira hope you like it please do share and subscribe and thank you for watching